A snake that is found in the garden is often referred to as a garden snake. However, no such species with that common name actually exists, although one variety, a close kin to the garter snakes, is often seen in just that setting. The Texas line snake, Tropoclonian lineatum, is a small non-venomous serpent with most adults reaching sexual maturity between 8 and 12 inches in total length. The largest specimen recorded, however, was a whopping, at least by these standards, 19 inches. But that specimen was definitely an exception to this species size rule. I have personally observed dozens of this species and I have never seen one even approach the record size. As the sole member of its genus, it is closely related to the garter snakes and ribbon snakes. And just like the majority of its close relatives, this variety has three stripes that run longitudinally along its body. The most distinctive stripe is the one that runs along the spine, known as the vertebral stripe, while the other two pale lines run lengthwise along the spines of the second and third scale rows above the belly scales. The vertebral stripe can be yellow, white, or even orange, although the vast majority of specimens are adorned with a pale yellowish midline stripe. Typically, in between the stripes are two rows of darker spots that run along the length of the snake. The row of spots furthest from the vertebral stripe are usually the boldest ones. The background coloration of the body varies from a dark gray to an olive green, while the head is olive and unpatterned, save for a small colored dot that is located near the center. The head, which is not much wider than the neck, is quite narrow and pointed. The belly pattern is one distinguishing characteristic from other species in that it is yellowish with a double row of dark half moons that run along the mid-belly region. Texas line snakes can be observed in most of the central United States, including the central areas of Texas. It is curiously absent from the southern areas of the panhandle. Like most other fossorial animals, this species prefers to live in areas with loose soil in which it can burrow into. It is often observed in grasslands and pasturelands under surface debris such as flat stones, fallen logs, or even dried cow patties. In urban settings, it will often reside under decorative flagstones, clay pots, and trash piles. Wherever it occurs, the soil must have a certain amount of moisture to hold the required high humidity that this species prefers. As with almost all of the reptiles that reside in temperate climates, they undergo a period of inactivity during the coldest months of the year, allowing sexually mature adults to generate the sperm and eggs necessary for successful reproduction in the spring. However, unlike most other harmless snakes found in Texas, the Texas line snake are live-bearing animals. Mating occurs primarily during the months of April and May, and the young are usually born sometime between late June and mid-August. Litters range in size from as few as three to as many as ten, although the average litter size is around seven. The delicate babies, who are between a mere three to five inches in length, typically mimic the adults in color and pattern and are capable of fending for themselves from the moment they are born. Texas line snakes are diurnal during their foraging activities in the spring and fall, then they become nocturnal when temperatures of summer reach too unbearable for most cold-blooded animals. Earthworms are their primary prey of choice, although other invertebrate animals such as grubs and beetles are also consumed. It is because of this diet that many Texas line snakes are found in urban areas, as many are drawn to gardens in search of prey. Many specimens are found every spring in local nurseries. However, like the majority of snakes that occur in the state, they are completely harmless to humans.